Well, um, thank you. But uh, I think that uh, if I remember right, uh, Mr. Stanikzai was Deputy Foreign Minister during the previous Taliban regime when the 1999 IC-814 hijacking took place. Okay. So uh, I don't see, well, it's a positive statement that we hear today and we shouldn't hold the past against whatever is happening now. But at the same time, I don't think that policies can be based on the FOMO factors. You know, it's not a question of fear of missing out. We have to wait. We will see whether this policy is uh, backstopped by actions on the ground. After all, we closed down our embassy because we felt there was a threat perception with regard to the Indian personnel. Now, that situation on the ground doesn't seem to have changed because we hear reports about the presence of Haqqani network controlling security in Kabul. We've also uh, seen that bomb blasts that have been carried out at Kabul airport have been claimed by the Islamic State Khorasan province. So there are obviously multiple players. And so how do we, our first uh, priority has to be to get some clarity. And if uh, the statement is borne out by facts and there is a perception that Indian personnel in Kabul will enjoy security, then I'm sure that uh, that will be the moment when we will choose to um, engage. General Hasnain, uh, would you believe the Taliban when they say that uh, they would like to continue economic trade, cultural, political ties with India, as has been the case in the past, that they won't allow uh, the soil of Afghanistan to be used against any one country? Do you take these statements seriously? See, Rahul. Uh, I endorse every word which Ambassador Sood has just mentioned. Uh, I think the situation is too tenuous. The uh, Taliban is essentially seeking legitimacy. And in the subcontinent, who can better give legitimacy than, than um, an engagement with India? So obviously, they are seeking that kind of a situation. Situations. Uh, India's voice is important. And we are also hearing at the same time the move of such elements like Azhar Masood to Kandahar to meet uh, members of the Taliban, etc. So there are lots and lots of activities going on at the same time. So what is being spoken need not necessarily be what is the situation on ground. I do not for the moment think that we should take any policy decision uh, at all. If at all any engagement has to be done, possible a back-channel engagement without making it transparent, can commence at this time. It's not a question of uh, losing the moment, not seizing the moment as such. Because I think these developments are still in a very early stage and will continue to develop in the next few weeks. It's then that possibly a little more clarity will emerge. And lastly, I do think it's very important for us to go along with the international community to see our strategic partners, what is their approach and attitude, and not take any decisions in isolation.